Hey everyone. If you live in the UK, then there's just one week to go until you vote in the election. That means seven more sleepless nights until we find out whether Jeremy Corbyn and Diane Abbott will be in charge of the UK's anti-terrorism policy. It's a scary thought, and in all honesty, I'd place more trust in that tiger that ate a zookeeper over the weekend up in Cambridgeshire. In an odd twist of events, this weekend also saw the police in Florida arrest Tiger Woods for drink driving, and for a while I misunderstood what exactly happened between the two stories. But to clarify, Tiger Woods didn't eat anyone, um, although Jeremy Paxman did have a goat chewing over the party leaders in a series of interviews that frankly didn't reveal a whole lot. Theresa May muddied the waters around the so-called dementia tax and the Labour team continued to be incredibly vague about the IRA and whether Osama bin Laden was a goodie or a baddie. Um, frankly, I wish Michael Howard was somehow get involved in the campaign so that Paxman could finally get to the bottom of whether he'd threatened to overrule Derek Lewis back in the mid-90s. There are, of course, other parties, though. The Lib Dems, UKIP, Plaid Cymru, the Greens, and in Scotland there's also the SNP, or as it's more formally known, Her Majesty's Nicola Sturgeon. So for now, keep your political wits about you, because on June the 8th, the nation decides. As Vladimir Putin might add, that nation is Russia. Only joking, of course. Even he couldn't make a dent in these poll numbers. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click on the channel to subscribe.